Hello there, friends. This is Cole from the Arizona Science Center, and I want to welcome you into yet another DIY science video. Today, we're going to be making our very own DIY lava lamps. Now, personally, I love this activity, if not just because it involves two of my favorite science subjects, density and polarity. Now, if you know what either one of those are, density or polarity, or just want to take a guess, go ahead and throw it in the comments right now. I'll give you a second. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what density is. Density is the measurement of how compact a substance is. So think of it as basically how much of a substance you can fit into a certain amount of space. And now we have two different substances here. Well, we have two different liquids, I should say. We've got water right over here, and we also have some vegetable oil. Which one do you think is more dense? Those are all some really good guesses. Actually, if you guessed water, then you're gonna be right because water is more dense than vegetable oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our very own lava lamp. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, essentially, all you need is just a container for water, water, obviously, uh, some vegetable oil, and some Alka-Seltzer and some food coloring if you wanna add that in there too to give it a little bit more flair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a few drops of food coloring in there. That's gonna get all broken up in a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the vegetable oil to the water right now. Now I want you to go ahead and make some observations as it's happening. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna mix well? Do you think they're gonna stay separated? Let's find out. All righty, so pour a little bit more in or a bit more in as well. And if we look, we have a definite divide. So we have all of that water that's now red because of the food coloring. And we now have this layer up here of all the vegetable oil. It's all in these little blobs and everything. So the reason why the water's on bottom is because it is much more dense. There is more of it in a certain amount of space than there is of the oil. So that's why the oil is resting on top. Now, the other thing we're gonna talk about today is something called polarity. So think about magnets, right? Magnets have a positive and negative end. Well, oil, specifically vegetable oil, doesn't have any polarity. So it doesn't wanna mix with anything else. It likes to be by itself, which is why it's not mixing in with the water. So polarity and density, all right there. Now then, what do you say we actually make this a lava lamp? What else does a lava lamp need? It needs bubbles, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and make some bubbles with our Alka-Seltzer here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and break it up like I did. You can break it up a little bit more and let's see what happens when I drop it in. Look at that. Look at all those bubbles. We're gonna drop in some more. Make it look a little bit nicer so you can get it to smooth around a little bit. You know what? I wanna see a really, really good lava lamp. So let's go ahead and keep on dropping in this Alka-Seltzer. And you can see the oils are moving around just like that, kind of making your very own lava lamp situation. Let's see what happens if we go ahead and close up the top. And there you have it, your very own lava lamp. Now what we can do is if you have a container that will seal, like mine, you can actually shake it up a little bit. And we can see if the oil and the water stays the same. Nope, it stayed separated. Look at that. Wow. All right, friends. Well, there you go. That is how you make your very own DIY lava lamp. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, you can also go ahead and go to our website at azscience.org, where you can find a ton of super fun DIY videos just like this one. Anyway, this is Cole from the Arizona Science Center, and I hope you have a great day.